blood and the holy martyrs is poured out for the Christ upon the earth. Therefore, they have gained their lasting rewards. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Amen. with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Father, we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. And Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew, Kim, and Taigon, and his companions, <clears throat> a most fruitful seed of Christians, Grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we, uh, were, then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that he raised Christ whom he did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. Yet for this life only we have hoped in Christ. We are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, Lord when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit, attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior, o Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. But I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, I do the Lord, 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 Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord be with you, Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church remembers St. Andrew, St. Paul, and and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I would butcher their last names, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Uh, 
these are the Korean martyrs who suffered and died for their faith. Uh, St. Paul, in this selection of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 12 through 20 is what we heard today. Yes, I got it right. Okay. Now, um, Paul says something. He, he addresses the people of Corinth. For some have been saying, well, there is no resurrection of the dead. Um, well, if that's the case, if Jesus did not rise from the dead, Paul is saying, then what are we doing here? Because you remember what we said yesterday. Our faith is based upon three events. Christ died, uh, Christ suffered, Christ died, Christ rose. Those are the big three things for St. Paul as he preached. So if Christ did not suffer and die and rise, well, what, what, what are we doing? But it is, and this is the beauty of our faith, Paul spends a great deal of time explaining to the Corinthians, and we've heard part of that first letter, about Jesus and why Paul is so intent on giving his life to Jesus as the anointed one, the Messiah, the Word of God, his son. And not only Paul, but we think of the other apostles. We think of their disciples. We can go back in 2,000 years. We can think of Andrew and Paul and all the Korean martyrs. We think of people that we know, people that we've read about. And we think to ourselves, my gosh, my gosh, look at what we are a part of. There has to be truth here. It has to be directed by God. There's a, 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 a legend, I, I don't know if it's real or not, but the legend story goes that Napoleon Bonaparte threatened to destroy the Catholic Church, and to which uh, a cardinal, maybe even a pope, but a, at least a cardinal responded that her ministers had been trying to do it for so long and they had not yet accomplished it, so they shouldn't get his hopes up too high. And I'm paraphrasing. But think about 2,000 years, some of the greatest and some of the not so great uh, events in the Catholic Church. And yet she's still here as the body of Christ to offer salvation to the world. So as Paul said, our faith is not in vain. We believe Jesus suffered, died, and rose again, and we're therefore saved. And we believe that God loves us. He bled for us. And that's why every morning we wake up and we do this over and over and over again. Not because it's a job. Not because it's something that we particularly find amusing. Oh, it's a great way to socialize. No, it's none of those things for any of us. We do it as a response to God who first called and loved us. So when we're here today, we're just here to say to God, thank you. Thank you for loving and blessing me for everything that you've provided me. And you've shown me for 2,000 years your love for me. Now, I also ask that you pray. I also ask God that you bless. And then that's when we come to name everyone else. So thank God we're here at this moment. This is a, a golden opportunity to grow in the faith. And these moments don't come around too often, but they're here. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our need to pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for our priest, religious brothers, sisters, for many deacons and seminarians who pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. 
For all of you, I pray. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass of video, and for the needs of you here present in the chapel this morning. We pray to the Lord. For all of you, I pray. We pray for the repose of the soul of Judy Cody and the consolation of her family for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. For all of you, I pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, I live and do all of us on the church. Look with favor, mighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. The Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. You make holy good for you. If we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I have to say this command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Bill, the Lamb of God, Bill, him who takes away the sins of the world, bless are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have one of my wood, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <coughs> Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Mother, we are thankful. Defend us from battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be rebuked him when we humbly pray. And the evil reigns of heaven and the Father, our divine Father, Christ in the hell, Satan and all the evil spirits, 
from the land of this world, shaken from our own soul. To the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be the Lord in name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, prepare for me. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be the name Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. 